Today I want to cover the issues related to these type of rosters uh, that you buy from Amazon. These are electric rosters where you adjust the temperature and there is a control arm inside where it rotates. But the main issue with this type of rosters are the control arm. They are very wobbly and when you buy new it will be tight but after few days of use you will start seeing that it will wobble a bit so we are going to see what is the reason behind it now in this case I tried to tighten this you could take out the this bolt this brass color bolt and you could remove it and then tighten it back but I was initially thinking that this bolt may be loose but that's not the case and you can tighten it back so even if it's fully tightened, you still see the wobble and it makes a lot of noise while rotating. So we are going to open this machine and look at why this wobble is happening. You can see the movement and it makes a lot of noise while rotating and also it will scrape this little area which is raised up. That's the sound you hear. This is another type of coffee roaster, which is electric from Amazon again. And I just had a session of roast. That's why it is dirty. I didn't clean it up, but I want to show you what happened. The same movement. See that movement? It will wobble. This, as you know, the bolt is tight, but still there is a big movement here. Same applies to all type of uh, machines like this. Now to look at this issue, you need to open this machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing is, put your machine upside down where you can see the back area where you have four big screws uh, you don't need to remove that also there are four screws for the for this rubber stand you don't have to remove that now if you look closely this a tiny little screw two of them that's all you need to remove to get access to the back uh, of the motor now you take a driver like this it can be flat or it can be the star and we are going to remove these two screws okay once you have removed that you can gently pull this up and there's two locks here you can just press it it will be released and here you can see the motor. This is the little motor that rotates the control arm. Um, so we we'll have to remove this. Now to remove this motor, there is another two star type. You can use the Phillips screwdriver to remove those two. Now before you remove those two screws, make sure you remove the control arm. So let's put this upside down and then we'll have to remove this first or else the motor won't come out because of this bolt so you need to remove these two now this can come out so let's go back here and remove those two screws After you have unscrewed it, you can gently <coughs> pull this motor up. Make sure you don't lose the screws on both ends. And here's the other side of the motor, uh, which is connected to a coupler. And this coupler this side of the coupler is connected to the control arm and this is where you bolt the control arm with the brass thing on top of here 
and if you notice here I could see what the problem is you see those white color shavings of this coupler now I don't know what material it is it something like ceramic uh, but the problem is it wears out and you could see the debris here and it becomes loose and if you notice look at the movement it has because most of the things inside are eaten up and you see it around the motor same applies to this side It sits nicely here, but if you look at it, there's a big movement. So this movement plus the movement here by the motor, that makes it very wobbly. So that's where the issue is. Uh, the issue is the coupler, it's not good. Or it's, it will wear out after a few weeks of use. That's what many people face. Now, how do we fix it? If you can find a stainless steel or aluminum metal type coupler, then it's fine. You could use that. That will be more stable. Or for the time being, you can do some filling here uh, with aluminum foil. That's another method. Once you fill it with aluminum foil, it will be tight enough and that will reduce the moment. So uh, I thought I'll share with you what the issue is here and most of the electric coffee rosters from Amazon they face this issue and the issue is related to the coupler and the quality of coupler they use. So I'll quickly assemble back. I don't need to work with this. It's better to return the item if you buy from Amazon or any other store. Uh, and if they accept return, uh, just return it. It's not worth using this. Look at the wobble. Okay, so let me put it back. And in case you're wondering, that's a spec of the motor. 6 watt motor which rotates at 10 to 12 rpm revolutions per minute once you put that make sure you align the edge onto that after you have aligned, just twist it so that the other two bolts on the sides align. These two bolts, uh, which in my case is aligned now. So you put back those screws. And the other one. Yeah, that's it and then you could tuck in these connectors and then make sure you align this you see the dent there so you could align that to the crevices here and then flush the the rest of the cable to this line and now you should be able to close this And then you can tighten these screws. Now you don't want to over tighten this. If you do that, it's going to cut this cable. So that should be good. Now let's look at the other side. And now I'm able to install this back. 
make sure you align to this cut here and then tighten the bolt once it is tight you're done there now see the the movement if you fill in you can reduce the movement but that's not a permanent fix that's why I said it is recommended that you could return this if, if it's bad because it's going to shave off that coupler again. The more you use, the more it will shave off that coupler. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I'll be posting more videos related to coffee, roasting and other things. So see you guys next time and bye for now.